Hello everyone. Welcome back to YouTube channel The Informant. If someone is new to this channel, let me just remind you that we make videos related to online services, placement drives, education and many more. In this video, we will be sharing a very important information of KCET document verification 2024. So we were repeatedly getting comments in the comment box, make a video on this document verification 2024. So what is this class A, B, C and other students and uh, what and all documents required for verification. So this year they have uh, done document verification online or offline. So many doubts you people were having. So we have made video for you people. So if you have not subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe our channel. So in this video, we'll be uh, telling you each and every detail about this class A, B, C student. So which class you are belongs to and some other important FAQ which will be having in your mind so each and every detail will be covered in this video so watch the video till the end so that you don't miss any important information regarding this KCET document verification 2024 and we will show you how to download uh, document verification slip also so many people got online document verification so how you can download the verification slip so the details also will be covering in this video and when option entry will start so each and everything will be covered in this video guys so guys one more new thing we have started so many people were asking us to contact so uh, how you people can contact us so we have started a new thing so we'll be guiding you for option entry and complete this KC 2024 counseling from start to end to select a good college to select a good college list for option entry so each and everything we will cover you so in the uh, description we will share you one google form so if you fill that google form we feel that uh, like you are interested so we will help you so it will be a paid uh, online help guys so we will contact you one by one and uh, we will share you our experience so how to select a good college and which branch you should select so each and everything will be covered by one uh, person to per other person through online or uh, offline so you can contact us so i will be providing you the uh, link google form link in the description you can fill that if you are interested and guys we all know that you are students so we are not charging much fees so just we are charging less than 200 rupees per uh, person so if you are interested please uh, fill that google form and we will contact you i think you all are clear now and still before starting the option entry one more important thing you should keep in your mind which colleges you should select so we have made a detailed video on top 10 engineering colleges of karnataka so with cutoff uh, we have shown so you will get a clarity for your rank which college you will get so i think uh, you all are clear now so that uh, video link will be uh, provided in the description you can watch that video so let us start this video so as you all know that yesterday kea has officially sent the document verification for offline document verification uh, students so many people uh, were uh, having a confusion that uh, in that list what they have sent for offline document verification name was not there so this year they have completed online verification for majority of students online verification has been completed so they have sent the list uh, for offline verification students so you have to go to the ke office and you have to do the document verification and from tomorrow that is 26th uh, 2024 sorry 25 6 2024 the document verification will start and it will end on 29 6 2024 so in our faqs i will be telling you still little bit more uh, details about this class a class b and other students so watch the video till the end and if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel so some important faqs regarding document verification what is class a b c students so if you are belong to class a so you so no need of doing the document verification so it it has done online so just you will get an online uh, document verification slip so with that you can uh, start your option entry so class b to z so class b to z students have to do document verification offline so i think you have seen that list if your name is there in that list you are belong to class b to class z uh, students type so you have to go to the office and you have to complete your document verification so in our next slide i will tell you what and all documents 
required but still class a students i want to tell you one thing like keep the documents offline also like soft co hard copy also you keep it so it will be helpful for your college so they might ask you documents there so keep one copy at least one set of copy what and all documents i will be showing you in, in next slide so class a students no need to do document verification it will done online so that uh, you might get in next week your online verification leaf, uh, slip will be getting next week so don't worry so class b to z students have to do document verification from tomorrow which class you are belongs to so i have already answered this class a students are online document verification students so for them already document verification has been completed so they will get the document verification slip in first july first week of july or second week of july you will get so class b to z students those who have uh, got name in that list that people have to complete a document verification offline and they are class b to class z students i think all are clear now still if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment box i will try to clear your doubt how to download document verification slip online so guys you have to enter your uh, uh, UGCET number what you have got and you have a date of birth and all so KEA will send official link for that uh, document verification slip uh, so first week of July you might get after this document verification over then only they will send this document verification slip so once uh, wait let this document verification completes offline after that you will get your document verification slip that is very important guys uh, in the document verification slip you will get a secret key code with that only you can able to log in for option entry so in our next videos we will tell you how to do that uh, uh, option entry so if you have not subscribed our channel let please subscribe our channel KCET document verification reporting place so you have to go to Karnataka examination authority KE office 18th cross Bangalore to complete your document verification so rank wise they have uh, sent the list so first to 40,000 20,000 uh, this day like that if you check that uh, notification what they have sent so in that you will uh, get a clarity so if that uh, so if a ranking is 1 to 20,000 so that people's only should go on that day so 26 1 to 20 thousand means only that ranking people only should go so so five days they have scheduled the document verification if you see that uh, list you will get a clarity so when option entry will start so next step is this only so why we will do option uh, this document verification is for option entry to get that secret key code so if you get that secret key code then only you are eligible for uh, option entry so I think all your doubts are clear now. Still, if you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment box. Documents required for KCET verification 2024. Candidates are required following documents for verification purposes. KCET application form 2024. So uh, KCET application fee payment proof, class 10th or SSLC mark sheet and certificate, KCET admit card, class 12th or 2nd to see mark sheet and certificate 7 years study certificate countersigned by the concerned b or dpi recent passport size photograph two copies income certificate rural study certificate cash certificate kannada medium certificate candidates who studied in kannada medium from class 1 to 10 in karnataka and outside karnataka parents study certificate identity card issues by uh, deputy commissioner district uh, magistrate for the candidates claiming eligibility for government seats under Jammu and Kashmir manager quota so you have to have this many documents so three sets of document you should have so one set you will give at the time of document verification one set you have to give uh, while you report to the college and one set you have to keep for your future so it will be helpful you can have a document so these three sets you have to have with attestation attestation is very important so you can do take attestation from BE or DDPI or any government uh, employee like veterinary doctor also you can go and take the attestation I think you all are clear now guys these many documents needed for document verification 2024 so this is all about our today's video as I uh, said earlier so we have uh, started a paid uh, counseling help for the students those who are appearing for option entry so we will guide you from start to end until you select a good college so if you are interested so Google form a link will be provided in the description you can fill that and we will contact you
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू शेयर दिस वीडियो एज मच एज पॉसिबल सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियो इफ यू फील अवर कंटेंट इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब शेयर एंड स्टे ट्यून्ड Oh